So one of my roles is a chair of the EEI Environment Committee was to try to forge industry consensus around the clean power plant. It was a long process, involved lots of phone calls and weekend meetings, but we did get there. Uh, the industry came together around that. But of course, as the election of 2016 played out, uh, it became pretty clear that the clean power plan was going to be set aside and probably rescinded. And I know I was inundated with questions from politicians, from reporters, from average citizens about what was going to happen next. Was the country going to step backwards environmentally? And of course, I didn't believe that would be the case. And at a certain point, uh, we at DTE just concluded that perhaps the environment required some leadership from some of us in the industry. We came out and laid out a plan to reduce our carbon emissions 80% over the next roughly 30 years. And that would take quite a transition in our resources, but we thought long and hard about how we would pull this off, and we were confident because of the time and energy we put into that that we could do it in a way that preserved reliability, kept things affordable, and was much more sustainable. So how are we going to achieve this 80% reduction in carbon emissions? First, we're going to be investing heavily in renewable resources. We've already invested $2 billion. We'll be investing a lot more in the future. Second, we're going to be retiring our coal-fired power plants, and we're going to be replacing them with high-efficiency natural gas-fired power plants to ensure that our power is reliable. And as we press these steps forward over time, that combination will achieve the 80% reduction, and it'll do it in a way that's affordable for Michigan. You know, some people claim that we have to make a sucker's choice between the health of the economy and the health of our environment. I don't believe that. I think we can have both as long as we go about it in a smart way. One of the best ways we can achieve a more sustainable future is for our customers to use less energy. And we encourage that at DTE. And we have industry-leading programs to help our customers do that. So we provide discounts on high-efficiency lighting we also provide rebates on high efficiency air conditioning and furnaces and ENERGY STAR appliances. And as a result, our customers see $5 in energy use reduction for every dollar that they invest. We don't have a mandate today to reduce carbon, but I am confident that our industry is going to press down carbon emissions probably to levels well below what the Clean Power Plan might have required.